Hello, in this video I want to explain to you how to check the 4-pin HIROS connector we use on our Varicams and also the same configuration is used on P2 ENG camcorders same configuration, I mean the same pinning and the same connector so this is the 4-pin HIROS connector and 4 pins, this is the pin configuration so pin 1, which is there, so this table matches with the position here pin 1 is connected to the ground then you count clockwise for the other pins pin 2 is the tally contact I will explain later what it does it mean pin 3 is the start stop command and pin 4 is the 12 volt output to power some small external uh, accessory that is connected to this connector so let us first find if so in this case i'm very sure this pin because it's this model uh, of varicam this pin is with the ground but if you're not sure if you have another kind of camcorder maybe you must first find pin one to be sure if you have very good eyes normally the numbers are written but it's very small i like to confirm with the ohm meter that where is pin 1 how we do how do we do that that is quite simple you need probes with very fine tips by the way i use in this video analog multimeters just for the easiness for the viewing of course it works also fine with digital multimeters okay let's be confirmed we have pin 1 i put my multimeter on ohms it means if I make contact the needle goes to zero I'm just shorting the pins together and now let's try on several pins so no I saw something but this is not connected not connected not connected this one is really connected instrument goes to zero ohms I reverse the pins to reverse the current and yes I have the same result so we are very sure this is pin one okay then we know we count clockwise and number first thing we want to do is check the 12 volt output to check the 12 volt output we need a voltmeter we change from ohms to volts i will use 30 volt so the needle should, should come about halfway and i also want to load this 12 volt a little bit so i have an amp meter and a load here this is basically a big resistor that I can adjust so I can adjust from 350 ohms to 0 ohms and it can easily take 1 amp then we need a battery on the varicam or you need DC power supply in this case I do on a battery I switch on the varicam let's see the load the resistor is on maximum so 350 ohm so we take pin 1 with the negative pin with the black pin and 12 uh, pin 4 with the positive pin and yes as you can see we have almost 16 volt hey this is not 12 volt no because it's unregulated 12 volt output it means it follows the input so as this battery is on about six uh, on about 16 volt the 12 volt output will also be on about 16 volt so during the discharging of the battery the voltage of the battery will go down and this one will follow at this moment the, we are loading with about 50 milliamps to see if it can give the one amp we promise <laughs> i just lower the resistance to about 12 ohm and then yes now we have one amper output of this plug and we still have voltage there so that is good it is confirmed the 12 volt output of this varicam is okay now let's check the start stop command this is also easy the start stop command is just a command that if you connect an external switch to ground and you close it it will trigger the camera to start just as I do with the normal record button it means a P2 card must be installed otherwise you cannot record I put on the beeper so you can hear you hear it I push the record button the normal record button and you can hear the record start 
This contact takes about 2 milliamps, so let's check if it does that. So, ground, pin 1, and then pin 3 for start stop. Listen very carefully. Yes, it started recording. And now it stopped recording. And you can see on the amp meter it takes about 2 milliamperes, which is fine. So, stop recording again. So that start stop contact works very well. Now the last one is the tally contact. The tally contact is used to go to an external LED or something like that. So basically this contact will be connected to the ground, simply to the ground. And it means we need to connect an external LED between 12 volt, 12 volt and this contact. So then there will be 12 volt over this too. Of course you need to limit the current through the LED by an external resistor, which you need to calculate. Anyway, we will load it with the 350 ohm and see what it does. So we are on voltage and current. At this moment, there is no voltage, uh, sorry. I'm connected plus to pin 4, the 12 volt and the black one to pin 2 the tally. There is no voltage over these pins and there is no current, it's normal. The varicam is not recording. I push record and there we get our 12 volt. So the tally contact is now connected to the ground level. So the voltmeter sees the 12 volt. We stopped recording. We started again. So yes, we can confirm this 4-pin high rose is in healthy condition. Thank you for watching this video.